Hi, this is Dr. B. Let's do the SF4 Lewis structure. On the periodic table, six valence electrons for sulfur, seven for fluorine, but we have four fluorines for a total of 34 valence electrons. We'll put the S, the least electronegative, at the center and put the fluorines around it, all four of them. Next, we put bonds between atoms, each bond two valence electrons, like so. And we've used two, four, six, eight valence electrons. Let's go around the outside. 10, 12, and 32. And we filled the octets for everything, and we have two valence electrons left over. But we can put those right here, because sulfur is in period three, and it can have more than eight valence electrons. Let's check the formal charges and make sure that this is the best structure for sulfur tetrafluoride. Sulfur has six valence electrons. If you look at the periodic table, it has two of these non-bonding and a total of eight bonding valence electrons, which we'll divide by two. That gives us zero. That's the formal charge for sulfur. For fluorine on the periodic table, it has seven valence electrons. It has six non-bonding and then two in the bond right here which we'll divide by two seven minus six minus one is also zero and all these fluorines are symmetrical so we only have to do one since the formal charges are zero this is the best structure for SF4 so this is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for SF4 thanks for watching let's take a look at the molecular geometry for SF4 Initially, when we look at it, you're probably thinking tetrahedral. It's got four things attached to the central sulfur, and that would make sense, except that we have a lone pair of electrons right here, and we have to take those into consideration. According to valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, the atoms and the lone pairs of electrons are all going to push apart from each other, and that's going to give SF4 its molecular geometry. That's going to look like this. We have the sulfur in the center, and then our fluorines on the outside around it. So that's very different than the tetrahedral structure that we were talking about. And when you look at the structure, those lone pair electrons are right there. And you can see them forcing the fluorines down in accordance with valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. That's the molecular geometry for SF4. SF4 is kind of the poster child for the seesaw molecular geometry, so probably a good one to know. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.